Hello everybody, Toe here and welcome back to another episode of our Battle Brothers campaign where we're playing as our mercenary company, the Golden Men. In the last episode, we ended up down south and decided we were going to do some quests. Um, we did an arena fight, fought our first sword dancer actually, and managed to win. Turns out, I found out later on, uh, there is actually an achievement, uh, you know, for beating the beating a sword ma uh, can't speak today, beating a sword dancer, however... Little did you know, but less than 5% of the people who play this uh, DLC have actually beaten a sword dancer, so we're actually on the front in that term. Uh, granted, they were pretty damn dangerous. They uh, managed to beat the absolute shit out of Tack. Also found out, uh, we got a glittering rock from uh, those Ifrits, because that was another thing we did in the last episode. We had to fight a metric ton of Ifrits. Uh, one of the groups we ran into, the largest of the two actually, was in fact not even part of our quest, so that kind of sucked, but we did win, so there was something to be gained out of it, and then we found the actual group of Ifrits we were supposed to kill, and we dealt with them as well. Uh, we did lose a decent bit of money since I had to pay my men for the day that we spent walking around, but we did get the job done, so there is that. Where we last, or where we're picking up today, I guess I should say, uh, we have an arena fight with some, uh, I believe it's, uh, some nomads. Probably some outlaws from what I'm guessing, so yeah. With that said, and further ado, let's get this show on the road. Yep, some basic outlaws. Nothing I'm too worried about. Only real one I'm actually semi-concerned about is this, uh, the axe wielder. So let's, uh, take him out. Uh, cut leg muscle. Let's see if I can. Yep, he's stunned, and let's go for some punctures. Damn. Hmm. Might as well try for this guy. There we go. Because he's stunned, so he's not gonna pose the biggest threat to me. <sighs> Alright. Can I do it again? No? Damn. Alright, well, we'll just. Get some overwhelm stacked up. Man, just keep missing. There we go. Nice. 5% chance to hit. So I think I can confirm. I don't think that they can miss with that, uh, the distract. Oh, we'll just decapitate. And, alright, the axe guy is no longer a threat. So let's get over here and taunt this dude. And that's why we did that. Kill him, move on. Go for those punctures. And just like that, that's all she wrote. Easy enough. Got paid pretty good cash for it. Another thing we had also acquired in the last episode was Arena Veterans, because we've won so many fights in the arenas. Now, I'm wondering if this has a... Uh, I'm wondering if this has an evolved version, because it's like, so far this character's fought in 13 matches and won all of them. Uh, I, I think that's actually kind of funny, because literally the only way out of this is if he, like, wins. If he, The only other way out is if he dies. You know, he's a corpse. Um, so, yeah, I'm curious if this is a... Ah, uh, uh, what's the word? If that can be improved, because honestly, if I could get more bonuses, that would be awesome. Oh, yeah, so let's see what this quest was. It's three stars, but they're not paying that much, which makes me think that this probably... Because I already dealt with the Ifrits. I doubt there would be two missions to fight Ifrits. Uh, so I'm not quite sure uh, if it... All right. Let's see. Blood drips. Perhaps hyenas, because if this was like three or four thousand, I'd be worried. Uh, serpents. Okay. Not quite what I was expecting, but not terrible either. Now I'm not too concerned with serpents. They're only really a threat if they can get gang or if they can gang up on one person and pull them in the middle of a group or something, but that's generally like almost everything that you can run into, so I shan't take it too seriously. Or well. Hmm, that doesn't sound right. Because not taking it seriously would be silly. Let's get in there and... Oh well, we at least hit the one, so it's better than nothing. 
Uh, let's see here. I'll shield. Hmm. Move him over. I don't really have to get him into melee just yet. It's kind of risky to do that, to be honest. Hello there. Okay. All right, all right, all right. And just like that, another snake is dealt with. Oh, I forgot. He's got the, the maimed foot, so he's slow. That's unfortunate. Get in there. And stab. Okay. Now, stab that snake to death. Fortunately, they don't have a lot of health. Yeah. Oh, wow, that was close, though. Man, those snakes got a really good chance to hit. Oh, there's my one body. Uh, let's see. We'll fire at him, why not? Oh, that's good. Now. <sighs> yeah, these snakes are kind of scary, to be frank. Cause they, don't, they have good chances of hitting, is the problem. Oh, well. All right, let's go for a triple. Nice. One kill and a injury. Okay, go for that stun. No, go for that stun. Good, good, good. Um, <laughs> that's still two snakes. Uh, we'll start trying to... Oh, that's not good. Alright, he definitely needs some help. Alright, stab that snake to death. Okay, don't route, man. The moment you route, you're in trouble. Ah, uh, he's running. Alright, I'm gonna have to do some desperate measures if I want to save his life. I gotta kill as many of these snakes as possible. Okay, he's still kicking. That's good. Uh, okay, good. Tax turn will go before his. Um, slay a snake. I gotta get in there and cut down as many of them as possible. In the event that he, uh, I can't rescue. I forgot about you. Leave me be, snake. Get in there. And good, that's another dead snake. Uh, stun. Damn, I couldn't route it. All right, time to use those quick hands. All right, Tack, you gotta rally him. Okay, good. Good, he's not running. If he started to run, uh, we would be in some hot waters. All right. Endure, my friend, endure. Okay, here comes the second. Oh, boy. Thankfully, they don't inflict bleeding, but holy crap. Snakes are scary. Fire away. Maybe we'll get a lucky shot. No. Oh, well. Um, We're going to move over here and try and help out. Good. Get up there. Uh, bring this snake down. No. Okay. Uh, he's not going to be able to do a swap. Uh, can I do a double swap? No, dang. No. I can't even get a stun. Uh, let's see. Rally again. Try and keep them from, from fleeing. If I can. Oh boy. Maybe this overwhelm or this stab can stop him. Oh. Oh, here it comes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Man, this is down to the damn wire. I did not expect this fight to get this close. Like at the end of the day, there's snakes. Oh, 
Oh, shoot. Uh, yeah, you get in there, man. Go crazy. I ain't having it. I broke that snake's nose. Don't ask me how I did that. Because I can't tell you. Okay. Alright, uh, Fury, Fury had a bit of a close call there. Ooh. Rainbow scales. Nice. Yeah, okay. I actually leveled up, and so did Tack. So, a couple level ups, that's good. Oh, wait. Yeah, I should, I should probably take the loot. Don't want to leave it. I, I think I have the setting turned on, so it automatically collects, actually. Alright, let's take care of those level ups. Yeah, he... Yeah. That was, that was down to the wire there. Level 12. <laughs> it's, it's a pittance, but it's something. Unfortunately, I can't take any more perks. And then we got Tack, his final level up. Uh, unfortunately, I can't really make his defense good. He never really got a lot of good rolls for that, unfortunately. All right, what were we going to take for his last point? I'm surprised, honestly, I haven't taken rotation yet. I'm very surprised. Hmm. Rotation. So, I, I thought about getting Undomitable, but honestly, with his fatigue, like, normally he just doesn't even have the fatigue to pull something like that. So, just being able to rotate is good enough in my book. So, yeah, let's go turn in this job. Fortunately, it's going to pay pretty well. I'm actually curious if there's going to be another arena fight ready for us. Uh, and there is actually not a taxidermist, unfortunately. Let's see here. Mm, nothing that interesting. Anything in the weapons? Uh, not, yeah, not particularly, no. Uh, there's an arena fight today. Uh, as a hate knight. Interesting. Let's see. One Hedge Knight and two Raiders. Very interesting. We get to fight an actual knight. Normally you don't get to fight those until... What? The wars that go on up in the north? Civil War or something like that? That's normally the case anyways. Let's uh, get that sorted real quick and give everybody their collars. I'm not too worried though unless it's uh like normally li knights like to use a shield and sword um and against that i'm not particularly worried tick should be able to kill them easy enough uh kind of depends on what the raiders have but i'm confident enough with this if it was three knights oh no nah, he's using a okay this is a hedge knight that's that's different these guys aren't really an issue but that hedge knight with that flail Ooh, I can take one hit from that. Only one. Let's try and kill these raiders so I can focus on him. Alright, where are you going, big boy? Alright. He should be slow, though. Alright, good. Pure side. That's fatigue. Let's just hammer on him. Nope. Good, good, good. Alright, there goes his body protection, so... I just gotta really hope that he misses this hit. Okay, here we go. 5% chance. Good. That's very good. Just beat him up. One more. Come on, give me that money. Nope. Alright. Let's see how good he is with the 5% chance. Nice. He's getting closer, but still no dice on that. And there's the stun. All right, he's he's dead basically. There it is. All right, little little hit and miss there with Tick, but Tick is able to kill a knight quite handedly by himself. Damn straight. Gotta love it. This build definitely is anti armor. Uh, I was I'm kind of glad I found this. Let me see. What does the stab do? See, I'm confused because stab has been building. Um. Stab has been building up fatigue, but it's like this only uses three fatigue per hit. And this, it's like weapon skills take up three less. It's like, how am I building any fatigue with this dagger whatsoever? I, I don't understand that. Um, but regardless, yeah, definitely, 
Tick is definitely awesome at taking on those armored opponents. Like, I'm so happy I made him that way. I am curious what he could do with a rapier. Like, if he could insta-kill something like a hedge knight. I doubt it, but it would be interesting to find out. I could buy one. Um, but I'll hold off on that for now. You can see our purse is definitely getting stoked really nice. So we're going to head over to Hikma and see what kind of uh, what kind of work we can find over there. I wonder if those were the snakes I ran into. Eh, maybe. So we'll head over to Hikma, see what kind of jobs they got for us, and then we'll probably head over to Hob and do another arena fight. They definitely do pay really well, especially since it's once a day. Uh, you don't have to worry about pitched fights. It's, you know, maybe like a 1v1. If they got weaker opponents, maybe less than that. Or, well, more than that, I should say. Yet, they do have jobs. Let's check out the market, though. All right. That's worth considering right there. It's over three grand. It's definitely worth considering. Uh, let's check my guys out. So that's 200 right there. Which is already more than tax, uh, tax equipped with, so... It's a good start. Hmm. Let's see. Tauric. Oh, just one of my basic guys having it would be a good improvement. It's like Wigmar. Wigmar could use something like that. Because he's already... He's at 87, but that armor would boost him up a decent bit, I'd think. Oh, I mean, we're just getting up there. Yeah, might as well start. You know, it's a, it's a start, like I said. Let's see. Wigmar. Sort that. Alright. And it does have the gold on it, so... All he needs really is the helmet next. But for now... For now, he's he'll have to deal with it. So now we're up to 83. And if I get him the better helmet, he'll probably be up to like maybe 20. So mitigating 20% damage. Yeah, that's also at 200. If I get him the helmet with the coif... Uh, how about weapons? Anything interesting? No. Not particularly. Okay, what kind of jobs do you have for us? This is a kill mission. It's a one skull. Okay. Uh, probably Ifrits. Probably fighting more Ifrits. Uh, let's see. In the desert around Hikma. Okay. So I have to search for these damn things. Man, I don't like doing this. 13 Ifrits? Really? That's a one skull mission for you? Where's my guy at? Uh, he's content, right? Okay, yeah. I normally don't like doing that, but I'm gonna put him in reserve. Because honestly, like, having him engage in, the, in this fight, like, one bad, uh... One bad range attack could just end his whole life. I don't like taking him out because he's 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 got good stats and he's got a mace, but I hardly see the point in bringing him into this mission considering he could die from one bad uh, range attack. So let's see, there was 13 if I remember right, so that's four mediums and one potential large. <sighs> I don't like that. I don't think they're actually going to get in range of me, so there's no real point. There's four. They'll probably merge next turn and make a large. Okay. I can deal with this. I'm not going to enjoy it, but I can do it. Uh, at least the pay is not terrible. Honestly, though, the arena fights are just more enjoyable than this. Yep. There's the super Ifrit. These guys can come out and start fighting the baby if it, though. If I can destroy this early, I'd be happy. Just go ham. Eh, little bits of damage. Damn. Just wait. Wait. All of you can wait, except you. You can attack this thing. Okay. 
All right, good. That's one Ifrit dealt with. Whew, okay. Uh, you can wait as well. Are you gonna throw? No, not yet. You're not. Look at that. See, it still builds three, uh, three fatigue. It's like, how is it doing that? I feel like this was not accounted for. Like this dagger, this dagger was made for my build. Like I should be able to attack with nothing, no, no stamina drainage whatsoever. Let's get in there and just tear it to pieces. Good. Uh, he can stay there. All right. Now, what is this big guy gonna do? You just wait there. Everybody hold your horses. Let's see what this big guy does. He'll move forward and attack me. At least those guys have a pretty low hit chance. Well, actually, no. Wigmar... <sighs> Wigmar has a, a high melee defense now that I think about it. That is another reason I hate fighting the, uh, uh, the Ifrits. They just... Just one good range attack. It's like, yep, there goes your health pool. It's all gone. It's like almost half your HP. Yeah. No, don't don't bother thinking about that again. You don't you don't have access to it. It's just, it's just so good. That range attack is just insane. And I don't like it. Alright, that's four dead Ifrits out of thirteen. Shield wall. I'll move him to the bottom. Alright. Yep, they're gonna become a big Ifrit. Alright, let's just see if they're gonna turn into Mega Ifrit. They will become a Mega Ifrit. Alright. You know, I honestly think I'm going to fight this. Now, some of you might call me crazy. And honestly, you might very well be right. However, there is a plan to the madness. If I can surround this thing and attack it from every side, how many Ifrits will actually get the chance to spawn, I wonder? It's a good question, is it not? How many Ifrits can spawn if I contain the beast? Alright, at least one overwhelm. Uh, he can wait in reserve. I've almost actually destroyed it already. Come on, just hammer away at it. Such a big health pool. Okay, see? It just it went from three large ifrits to one medium-sized. So I think I just killed, like, what, six ifrits? I mean, maybe my math's wrong, but that's that's what it seems like. Since it takes uh, three medium-sized Ifrits to create a large one, I just destroyed, like, two of those. I'm pretty sure that's right. And if it is, then that made my fight much easier. Okay, now that I think about it, if I can do that and close into melee with the large Ifrit, it's dangerous. But if I manage it right... They're actually really easy to kill in large numbers. Hmm. This is something to think about for the future. If I can encircle and contain the Ifrits, they could be a much smaller threat. Interesting. That's good to know, considering I hate fighting them. And... Okay. So, Tag took... Uh... Got some fractured ribs. Uh, lost a decent amount of health, but overall, he'll live. And then Wigmar got a level, so... We also got another glittering rock. I wonder if you get those from killing the large Ifrits. Okay, let's take care of uh, Wigmar real quick. Yeah, it was 17%. Alright, get those defenses all beefy. Uh, and give him a better hit chance. Why not? Okay. He's got rotation, nice mastery. Uh, doesn't. There's no real point giving him crippling strikes. I'm not expecting him to do much in the pure damage department. I just want to be able to hit because he has a guaranteed stun if he's able to do that. 
Um, let's see, let's see. What else shall I give you? Don't really want to give him Indomitable. I could give him nine lives. That is a possibility. Because I don't give... I'm not, I haven't been giving everybody nine lives. Uh, just if it feels like I, they have a spare point. But it's like, honestly, I feel like I could give him more. Like, I could even potentially give him Taunt. Since uh, he's got such high melee defense. You know, that's really tempting. That is very tempting. You know what? We're going to do that. I thought I'd only ever give Tack that, that perk, but honestly, Wigmore's melee defense is just so high at this point. Like, you know what? I'm going to give him a uh, a Sipar. A Sipper Shield. It's going to lower his fatigue, unfortunately, but it's more durable. It's going to give him an even bigger defense bonus. Just make him an absolute beast. Alright, let's go turn in this quest. Man, I tell you what, though. These, uh... These regiments in the south, they're just so much larger than the ones in the north. And honestly, they probably need to be. This place is dangerous as hell. Alright, alchemist. I think you didn't have anything. Yeah, there's an acid flask, actually. Um, uh, I don't think there's anything. Actually, gladiators. Are there any gladiators here? I'm looking for potentially new new recruits to join me. It's a servant. I don't really need a servant. All right, what is this? Uh, northwest. Uh, no, I'm not, I don't want to go to Lichmark. It's like, I mean, it's, it's there, but I don't want to go there, to be frank. It's like a detour I just don't want to deal with. Alright, let's continue on our way. It's actually kind of funny, my tool supply was actually pretty big a little while ago, but it's actually gone down because I'm not fighting enemies that wear armor. I'm fighting, uh, uh, like Ifrits and whatnot, like basically creatures and elementals. And that means that I don't get to make, uh, make use of the scavenger. It is unfortunate, but that's the way it is. I don't think I'm going to make it before night. Oh, I just made it. Nice. Still nothing interesting, I'm guessing? No. Uh, marketplace. Uh, nothing really interesting in the goods, either. Uh, I'll buy some more rice. Sort all that. I keep forgetting to give my guys back their stuff. Their skulls and all that. Any gladiators for me? Probably not, but it doesn't hurt to look. No. Alright, and there is, in fact, an arena fight and a job. We'll see what the arena fight is. More bandits. I'm getting over a thousand crowns. Honestly, it's just too good. Like, the fight is basic, but it's a thousand for... He's actually still injured. That's fine. Uh, but it's a thousand for what is, in my opinion, almost a guaranteed win. Uh, you know, of course, it can still be dangerous. The fights can always be dangerous, but the confidence I have in my gladiators, and in, in, you know, in the in the A team right there, it is without equal. And honestly, if it's outlaws, like they'd have to have a two-handed weapon for me to really feel a threat to attack, because. They'd have to deal enough damage to bypass or, like, wipe out his armor and then most of his health. And they don't have that. Like, honestly, guys with shields are the opponents that I enjoy the most. Because they don't do high damage. Uh, and my attack is high enough usually to just bypass their, uh, their defense. Not in that instance. Uh, but I am, I am prone to missing as well. It happens to the best of us. <laughs> He's routing. Don't gotta worry about him. Yeah, see, he just did, he didn't even bother. And he's those overwhelms are just too much for him. Yep, one got through, and now the bleeding starts. Let's see if we can get a stun. No, but can I hit him? No. Oh wow. 
I didn't think you'd get away from that. Yeah. Hit my head, but he's one-handing a spear. It doesn't matter. Yep, in the end, it was not enough. Actually, we're just going to have him recover for a turn. I'm guessing the moment I kill this guy, the fight's over. Nice. It is not over. All right. Well, let's start chasing this guy down. <laughs> I didn't think they were going to make me do it. Hey, there he is. Glad you came back to your senses, friend. It saves me the trouble. Can I get him? Yeah. All right. Easy. Hey, gladiator. Nice. Guessing that comes from winning enough matches. Makes sense. Let's see. So, let's re-equip Battle Brother. Get my Hound. Get him his Sergeant Sash and the Cursed Skull. Easy money. Now, let's see. What do you got for us? Nomads. I can deal with that. All right. Finally, somebody's paying me to kill something that's not Ifrit's. <sighs> it's about damn time. I'm t <laughs> Look, as long... If, if what I've seen is right, killing Ifrit's can seemingly be a lot easier if you can gang up on the big ones. And then, you know, use your, your guys with Overwhelm to prevent them from hitting you by just stacking up that debuff. Uh, you surround them, they can't spread out, so most of them die. What is this? Oh, they're digging something up. You know, I'll attack now. Ooh, actually. Now that I think about it, just to make sure. Ah, he's still in reserve. Yeah, but he's not doing too hot. Yeah, I won't risk his health. We'll just go in there without him. Yeah, but I like to get the treasure. Uh, we are outnumbered. They have a good amount of archers, actually. Hmm... Let's, uh, let's not take any chances and fall back with Tick, because he's got one invuln, but after that, he's kind of squishy. Yeah, we're, we're already within range. Yeah, that's a lot of archers. The moment we kill that front line, it's gonna, it's gonna be a field day back there. <sighs> All right. Okay. Man, they're just all within range attack, aren't they? All right, who can I hit? Maybe that guy. Yep, I can't hit anything. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get up there. Get in the thick of it. Um. Yeah, we'll we'll move up there. Uh. Yeah, just start pushing up. Let's engage. Now, I doubt I'm going to win in the initiative order, but it is what it is. No, I want to leave that space open for Tick to move in. He's not going to be able to make it this turn, but... Oh. Well, you've now exposed yourself, friend. Okay, there's the archers. Um, I'm going to wait because his turn's coming up. And if I can avoid getting hit by a two-headed sword, I'd be happy. Okay. Okay, this is less than ideal. I have to make sure that doesn't happen again. Damn, that's just a lot of archers. Fortunately, firing into melee isn't easy. Okay, good. Good. And that's stupid. I think they can just do distract as just a free ability, is what it feels like. It's like, ah, oh, it doesn't cost me anything. I'll just do it. Um, What about aim? I could do an aim shot at him. And you know what? I think I will. <sighs> nope. Alright, we'll go up one and we'll do a reap. 
Nice. Exposed ribs and a cut artery, so that's good. Let's just do a couple of uh, batters. Nice. Nope. Uh, go for... Hmm, I could actually just try and kill him. No. Alright. This guy could be a threat. Well, I mean, they could all be threats. <coughs> Die. Alright, now that Tick's in here, I'm gonna try and make the most of it. <laughs> it was a headshot, but I've got a really good helmet. And even better, body armor. S okay, I, I thought for a second I saw him, I'm like, somehow, this guy's gone before Tick. <laughs> Uh, does he have body armor? No. Just stab him. He is dead now. Very good. Very, very good. Okay, good. He did not manage to steal my weapon. Uh, shoot for that guy. Why not? Nice. I was gonna say, one of these days we're gonna hit him. Just depends on what day that is. Alright, go for a reap. Double kill. Well, now that that's happened, their front line is open, and... Okay, his bleeding ended. That's good. Prepare to die, archers. He's actually running. Uh, We'll swing Wigmar around the side. Move to start flanking them. Yeah, there's, there's no other way. Uh, you can move up behind. Just keep everybody advancing forward. I do probably need to swap him out. Just because I don't want to risk him getting killed. Yep, he's running. Well, actually, they're both running. Yeah, I'm worried that he'll take a straight arrow or something and get killed. Because they're really gunning for him. Uh, he's got cover, but... <laughs> nice. Didn't even need to bother flanking. He's just dead. Alright. Uh, just try and kill him. I'm tired of this guy. Good. He just wasn't going down. Uh, I'll just throw down Battle Brother because most of them are running now. Just start having him flank around. Let's see. I'll move Wigmar up and deploy another hound. Get those numbers going up. Do a swap real quick. It's fine. I don't want him to potentially die. Hey, yeah, go Battle Brother. What do you got? Got a couple of maces. Uh, stab him. Nice. I didn't know if the dog was going to be able to do it. Deploy another dog. And these guys are just having a bad day. Yeah, this is, this is much nicer than fighting... It was a little risky there, but... Much more enjoyable than fighting Ifrits. Nope, dodge dog. <laughs> you blinded the wrong guy. Alright, any good loot? Got some spare cat... Ooh. Got a couple of decent helmets. They're not actually as, as good as I first thought they would be, but... I'm not gonna turn down free stuff. But I have to drop some stuff, because unfortunately... I have a lot of gear. Drop the arrows, I don't need them. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Ancient coins and white pearls. Awesome. 
And now I did actually panic about this before, but it should, if I remember right, store them anyways. I think it did it last time for me. Huh. Okay. Well, I'm just stupid. Well, that's a darn shame. I lost what was potentially going to be a lot of money from that. <sighs> oh, well. You live and you learn. Wait a second. Oh, hold on. Does it give it to me now? Maybe. 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 No. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, well. That, that sucks. It is a lesson to be learned, though. Always keep some space in your inventory open, because... Yeah. For some reason, like, last... I had an event like this happen in a different campaign, and it worked. It gave me the stuff. Whatever. Alright, let's sell some of this gear. Let us see. Now, what do I wish to sell? First, we're going to sell all of these compound bows, because I really don't need any of them. You know, I've been holding on to these weapons for a while now. I'm going to keep the axe, but these two-handed weapons and whatnot, the spear, the sword, like all this stuff. I'll keep an extra mace, but I really don't need this stuff. If I'm being frankly honest... I don't even need those. I'll keep this extra shield because it's got my company colors. Uh, let's see what else. I I only need one mushroom, and that's because I haven't ever gotten the achievement where I kill an or an orc berserker while high on these things. Uh, we're also gonna sell these rocks. It doesn't even matter if they're a trophy. Uh, I'm gonna save these in case I go up north. Uh, let's see. I could probably sell some of these scales. I'll keep four. Same with these. Uh, I don't think I'm ever going to use these glittering rocks. Like, ever. Glistening rocks. I'm going to keep the fur in case I ever get more. Uh, let's see here. Which mace is better, technically? Sell that one. The triple flare, flail. I'm never going to use the flail. Uh, Armor-wise... This armor sucks, compared. It's gladiator harness. Uh, I'll leave it for now. <sighs> Man, look at that. Our profits just shot up. I'm really happy with that. I probably would have had a lot more cash if I'd gotten those pearls and whatnot. And those co gold coins, but... You live and you learn. Uh, how's my food looking? We got some bread. We got some rice, some cheese, some lamb meat. Uh, we'll grab some more cheese and... Fish, actually. I don't want my guys to get de uh, demoralized or anything again, because that generally seems to suck pretty hardcore. I gotta stop checking the uh, the alchemist. There usually doesn't seem to be anything I want there. All right, the arena. Next arena fight. Been doing a lot of these. Um. Ooh, a piece of gladiator gear. Hell yeah. I was actually thinking about declining that because, you know, it's easy money. Uh, but I've done so many fights against uh, uh, bandits and whatnot. I was like, eh, it's kind of boring. But gladiator gear, now that's a different story. That has the potential to be, well, something really good or something not really good. Preferably a helmet if at all possible. But, you know, whatever I get is what I get. Okay, so I would like to kill this guy because he's got that double-handed weapon. Um, I'm more worried about him. Alright, that's a good start. Let's see if we can stun this whip. Nice. Alright, we'll go for the scimitar guy next. That's a pierced arm muscle. I don't actually know what that does. Awesome. Great. Just fantastic. That seems kind of silly, man. Didn't save you. Don't let the whip guy do stuff. Good. 
Good, good. Easy, easy. Oh, yes. That was what I wanted right there. I wanted another gladiator helmet. What is this? <laughs> I just I just encouraged a kid to get good at killing people with a damn butter knife. Yeah, we're good. We're real good. All right, that's awesome. We actually managed to get our hands on another gladiator helmet. Let's see right here. And I think the only way to get these are in the arena fights. And it's really good that I got that because I wanted to give it to Tamim. Because he's the only gladiator I have that doesn't have one of these. So there we go. He's kind of similar to Tack at this point. But however, Tack has the full golden shield. Whereas Tamim has the silver shield. Did I pick up another one? No, I still have only, only the silver one. So yeah. Alright. I don't think there was any... Yeah, there wasn't any job. We even got paid for that. So, let's head over to Karakan, because I haven't actually been over at Karakan in a while, now that I think about it. It's been a hot minute. And you know what? We'll probably do some work over here at Karakan, and then my guessing is that we're going to come back over to Dob and probably do another, potentially another arena fight, and probably like the next episode or something. We'll see what's going on over, on over at Karakan first. Um, but we'll probably do another arena fight over here, and then we'll probably head up north again. Orcs? Down here? Really? <sighs> you know, I didn't think that it was necessarily going to come to this. But, I see no other choice. Oh. I thought he would eat it in battle. Okay, so it's only going to last one battle. Alright. So, I have now ingested mushrooms. I need to get into melee combat... Like, I need to get myself into melee. And I need to kill one of these berserkers. Ooh. Real quick, fall back. Uh, do they have morale loss from that? No. Okay. He's doing much better now. And he's still okay enough to be in a battle line. Alright, chase these guys. I need to kill a, uh, a berserker. Alright. And I am in a... Oh, he's got a man splitter. All right, this is going to be a battle of the uh, of the Berserkers right here. I could try and go after him. That would be less dangerous, but no. I must slay the Berserker with man, with a man splitter in single combat. Uh, we will fire at the guy over here. That's actually two injuries right there. That's pretty good. Alright, move up and reap. Ah, there's one with a chain. Alright, uh, you move over there and go crazy. Yeah, let's start encircling them. I'm gonna get into combat with them. Uh, can I get over there? Not quite, but next turn I can. Well, it works for me. Uh... Okay, that, that didn't do anything. Uh... Okay, you can go there, actually, because... I want to try and get Tick into combat with that Berserker. Yeah, you wait, because he's probably going to hop over into that spot. Oh man, that guy's gonna go. Okay, good. He did not stun me. Because I need to be the one to start beating the shit out of that berserker right there. No! You can't do this! I have an appointment with you! Uh. I'll attack this guy. Uh, obviously we're gonna attack the Berserker first. We'll use a Damn, can't hit it for anything. Alright, that's him dead. That's him stunned. Don't have to worry about it. I really don't want to let that Berserker attack me. 
Let me go. All right. I have to resort to less than ideal measures. I'll have to probably actually kill the thing. It's not ideal, but it's all I have. Stop charging me. Uh, one more time. Nice, okay. I have now gotten into single combat with the Orc Berserker. If he doesn't outright kill me, I like my odds. He is going to be going though, so. All right. I'm not expecting much damage, but it's more about the status afflictions. Here it comes. Whew. All right. So now that I have survived the initial swing, I should, in theory, be okay. Uh, try and kill him? No. Okay. Nice. It's a good thing they can't attack twice with those chains. Okay. Damn. I had just emptied that spot. All right, let's get a reap. Triple hit. Man, that sword lance is way better than I initially had given it credit for when we first started this deer campaign. Kill this stunned orc. Progress. All right, my turn, big boy. Good. That's basically three bleeding conditions right there and there. Now I have to survive his return stroke. That berserker, however, is dead. Here it comes. Nice. How much? Was that 30 points right there? Uh, No, that was 23. Still pretty good, though. And fire. Nice. Ooh. Let's, uh, let's try and stop that. Okay. Uh, we'll do a swap. Ah, right, I can't swap because he's confused. I keep forgetting that's a thing. Not as I kill orcs, they're more likely to run away, so. I do have a way. Yeah, there he goes. I was potentially worried I'd lose that guy, but nope. Nope, we found a solution to our problems. To just kill everything. All right, Senior Orc. My turn. There she is. I had never gotten that achievement. You know, obviously we're going to finish off that one Orc. You know, honestly, it's not so bad. It was, honestly, it was probably riskier than I'm giving it credit for. I literally did take on an Orc with a man splitter. A berserker at that. Uh, fairly risky. But I did, in fact, pull it off. Honestly, I should be damn famous for that. Uh, not worried about fighting a bunch of cutthroats. Literally, I could probably take on that whole party of 12. There's another band of orcs up here. You know, I'm not gonna deal with that. I only really did it the first time because I wanted the achievement, and it was right in front of me, so. Not going to make it my problem. All right, what do we got here? First things first. Anything cool with the armor? Hey, there's some more. There's some more uh, shirt and padding. So we'll take one of those because we got some money right now. Let's sell all of our orc stuff. Sell all of that. Get our inventory a bit more cleaned up. Could buy helmets. Those are pretty good helmets too. I do like them. What's that? Okay. Uh, anything else? There's a taxidermist. I don't think there's anything here I want, though. No. Uh, gladiators? Any? Any gladiators for me? Maybe? No. Unfortunately, not. Oh, my gosh. I bet you that, that those ifrits... There's going to be ifrits here. It's just my humble guess, but I think there's going to be ifrits. Uh, we're gonna s we'll just sell that one food because food is really cheap here right now because they had a good harvest. Um, let's see real quick. Uh, who do I think deserves this armor more? Who 
special, is what I should say. Hmm. I mean, terek has got the highest stamina out of everybody. So, yeah, we'll give it to Tarek. Unfortunately, these helmets are actually worse, though, um, than what I'm currently using. And they give decent fatigue, too. Oh, uh, I'm tempted. I'm tempted to buy one of those, uh, one of those cool helmets. I've got, I've got cash. And it wouldn't hurt. Hell, I could even buy two of them if I want to get both of my guys suited up. That's 200, that's 255. The price is halved. Uh, you know what? I've got all this money, and money that is not spent is doing me no good. So, we will get these guys suited up, and they're really... I also did it partially because of the looks. Like, I mean, honestly, look at that. Like, I've got my gladiators with all of their gladiator helmets, and then I've got all of my, my slaves, but they're equipped with the best that money can buy. Like, how freaking cool is that? I know it might seem like a slightly silly reason, but sometimes you have to do things because they look cool. You have to have ambitions and the like. Uh, as for him, we're it's only one fatigue more. Uh, so we're actually going to give him this male coif. Because originally I had planned to give that over to uh, Tick. But his helmet is actually efficient enough, so I get the full bonus from Nimble. Uh, and it completes his aesthetic. I mean, he's got the full chain uh, at this point. So yeah. Uh, but yeah, guys, you know, I think that's where we're gonna call it. We're just gonna give everybody their, uh, their items back real quick, because, uh, I'm probably gonna forget the next episode. Actually, it was only my, it was only my dog. Uh, oh, right, because mushrooms. Uh, so yeah, guys, I think that's where we're gonna call it. Pretty good progress, that episode. I'm really happy with how that went. Um, I think we had a couple close moments, but, uh, in terms of the gladiator fights, I mean, that went really well. We we finally got another, uh, another gladiator helmet for, our, you know, our other tanky gladiator. Uh, we got some new armor and equipment, so some of our boys are looking mighty fine indeed. Got some levels, got a good amount of cash, though we did spend a decent amount of it, but hey, comes with the job. Uh, so yeah, with that said, that's what we're gonna call for this episode. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the series, or, well, not series, if you guys enjoyed the episode, you know, leave a comment down below, let me know what you guys think of the uh, the series so far any potential character designs since i have yet to find any more gladiators so i'm open to suggestions and until next time have a good one